hey guys welcome welcome back to another video i hope all your goals all your plans everything that you want this year you're seeing you're seeing you're working towards it and you're seeing where you're working and you see the work that you're putting in i hope it pays off i am kian aldria and i make videos for persons who are in canada want to move to canada and persons who are starting new journeys in life because i don't like to limit it to canada maybe you're starting a new journey maybe you're not in canada but maybe wherever you are in jamaica you're starting a new way a new pathway and you know you're struggling or you're working on getting there you're not where you want to be yet in life but you're working on it this channel is for you in today's video we're going to talk about should persons in their late 30s or older move to a new country the truth is when you move to Canada a lot of times even if you have 10 years of experience 15 years of experience a lot of times Canada you have to start back over that is Canada I am of the belief that the US the United States of America and Canada vary in that regards because I've seen people say it all the time in my comments that oh US values education more than Canada and I dispute that like it's not that they value education more but it's more that in Canada they have a particular way of doing things like they want you to have this Canadian experience to an extent not that they won't hire you if you don't have Canadian experience you don't need Canadian experience to get a good job but when you're coming to Canada in your 30s or your 40s especially when you're at a certain level if you do not know how to sell yourself or that value that you created for the company you were at in the past when you come here you might have to start over because you have to really know how to sell yourself well enough to be able to start the same place you have to know how to sell yourself to employers to get back a job at that level that you were at if you really don't know how to sell and market yourself to employers you're not going to start back at the same place you're going to have to start lower than you were in your home country if you're someone who isn't willing to start from the ground up maybe Canada is not for you because that is always going to be an option when you move to a new country however the ground starting ground up it doesn't necessarily mean less money if i had stayed in jamaica i think maybe after five years it's safe to say you would be at an intermediate level engineer right but i moved so coming to a new country but my years of experience here in canada they see that oh you're at the level at an intermediate engineer however we're going to start you at a junior level engineer but the pay that i'm going to be getting as a junior level engineer it is more money than i was getting in jamaica as a junior level engineer so starting over doesn't mean less money when you move to a new country right in my case though it's kind of different because even starting as a junior engineer i don't have to do that five years again as a junior to reach intermediate when people say canada don't value education i beg to differ right there because after i get my professional license that's when you would move out of junior to intermediate here in canada it's what you're willing to give to get and in my case i don't see that as a loss in any way because hey i'm getting more money better quality of life learning new things right learning new things doing different types of engineering work and i must say it is everything that a girl dreamt of it is challenging it is it is pushing me yes 
and I feel like I'm an engineer again. I feel like, damn girl, you got it, you got it, you're doing your thing, you know? So it's been a while since I've had that challenge in my life, right? And I'm learning new things and I love that for me. I love learning new things. Me, I love growing, I love learning new things. I lost nothing, really. That's the thing, I am young, so I learn things faster. And I think maybe as you get older, you, you, you kind of slow down. So if you're someone who is coming and you know that, boy, you do things a certain way, and then you have to be, you're going to have to be doing things all over, learning new way, new standards, and that's not for you, then maybe Canada is not for you. Because you gotta learn, you gotta, everything, even the culture, you gotta learn that all over. And for me, I love, I love learning, I love growing, I love taking on challenges so that's a year for me but maybe it's because i'm young i don't know i don't know right but if you're older and you have someone who is set in certain ways and you're not willing to break those old habits and start again then maybe it is not for you i feel like right when you are of a certain age you have a certain level of authority in the workplace especially with companies that you may be working for five ten years you have a certain level of authority when you move to canada at that age and you're starting over you will not have that level of authority you might not have that level of respect because nobody knows you you have to work your way back to earn that level of authority and that respect you probably 30 40 or maybe 50s right and you are reporting to someone who is 25, 30. If you're someone who don't mind that, which I don't mind, I don't mind if I report to someone who is 24, 23, it's really nothing to me, right? As long as I get the job done and I do it well and they are happy, I am happy, we good, right? I feel like all the generations, some persons, not all of them, right? Don't want to generalize, some persons, they believe that younger persons should respect them because they are older and in this century and this life yes my parents taught me to respect everyone despite of age so that was how i was grown so to me age doesn't make a difference not because you're old i'm going to respect you i just respect you because you're a person but i feel like some persons believe that because they are older just that because they are older they believe they are wiser and as such they expect a certain amount of respect that's different from someone else and then when they come in this new work environment and they realize that okay they are reporting to someone way younger than them then they start to be in their feelings because they think they know more because they had years of experience in their country not dismissing your years of experience sir or ma'am but is it just the way of the world here like nobody cares about your age at the end of the day, you get paid for a job because you have the qualifications. It has nothing to do with age. So when you come here, it's the same thing. You can't carry that third world country mindset here. Because here, nobody cares about your age. Nobody cares. The only place here in Canada where your age matters is when you're going on the bus. And if you're old, respect. So when you come here and you're older, certain mindset, certain things where you think age, where you think qualifications and years of experience should outweigh certain other things, you're going to realize that in this new country, it doesn't, it really doesn't. Your age doesn't matter. Your qualification matters to get you the job. But your years of experience, unless you can get that years of experience certified in a license, your license there's levels to it because they say how long do you have your license you have a license for one year then this starting salary at one year is this amount you know so at the end of the day it is like i said it is all put together it is a start again so ask yourself whether you're in your late 30s or late 40s or 50s ask yourself 
can you genuinely start back over like when you first started in your professional role but this time it will be people who are probably younger than you people maybe when you're doing the work you realize that hey you have a better understanding or knowledge than them but they have more qualification here ask yourself are you the type of person to learn to start again because here like there are so many different applications there are so many different things that are work process that you have to learn and you have to ramp up at a faster pace is the culture everything is different are you ready to go through that struggle to go through that new mindset where you're trying to learn everything and you're like oh i'm not getting it maybe i need more time you know and then also you have to remember that maybe if you're at that age you have kids so you're not like someone who is young when they leave work they can just go home and put in some extra hours to ramp up because you have a family that you have to cater to those are things to really consider but here's another thing an alarming thing right um what if you come to canada or you move to canada from jamaica or maybe you move to canada from nigeria but you move you're moving to canada right and maybe when you come you realize you don't get your professional job and you have to start over by doing what i like to call survival jobs are you willing and ready to do that are you willing for someone to tell you to go take out the garbage are you willing for somebody to grub you to say hey do this when you know that hey you have your degrees and you could get a different job but you have to be maybe cleaning floors cashier whatever it is because here a job is just a job as long as it pays the bills it pays the bills that's it are you willing to do those things are you willing to do any type of job if you're not I'm going to tell you from now maybe it's best to stay home maybe it's best to work on what you already have because sometimes the grass looks greener but it may not be greener for you especially if you've developed a life where you maybe have two houses you're settled you have a good job Canada maybe is not for you can you come to Canada take all of that pressure work the survival jobs because at the end of the day you are doing this for your kids maybe it's not for you but it's for your kids it's for your children if it's a case where you don't want your children to like suffer or struggle and i think every child will have to learn to struggle eventually so if you're thinking of doing it for your kids maybe you need to think about maybe putting down that money so that they can come as an international student and learn the way themselves maybe it's not for you now because it's too late but you can put down that money since you have that money invest it and they can use it for international studies in canada and even maybe what you could do you don't have to wait until they reach um 16 because they can come to high school as international students in canada so they can come go to school high school then go to college right yeah that's another way you don't have to come here and go through all of it you can send them some people literally outright told me they don't want to start over when you're coming here you're going to be starting over and starting over is not for everyone not everyone wants to start over some people don't know real struggles in life right because i think one of the things that prepared me the most for canada was the fact that i went on the j1 cultural exchange program in the united states and i had to work hard hard for my book but when I got that money I felt so good and nothing else beats that and the experience and exposure I got that experience that cultural program is nothing like it right so that really prepared me for this move and since being here the culture the experience had I been in Jamaica I would not have this exposure and I'm young too so maybe that's why I want all this exposure and this experience so who knows right but there's a difference between traveling to a country and living in that country for a while maybe canada is not for you or maybe it's for your children 
maybe you're old and you say okay i don't want to do survival jobs i don't want to work for anyone maybe you want to start a business and you're in your 40s or 50s maybe that's what you need to consider if you're moving to canada what's a need or a business that you can come here work for yourself still get more money still get more income and get the quality of life that you're looking for maybe you should think about starting a business and a different pathway rather than coming here as a student or an international open work permit program maybe what you should be thinking about is coming here as an entrepreneur and there are many pathways here in canada if you're planning on coming as an entrepreneur and for different provinces require a different amount of investment so maybe that's what you need to look into to see if the business pathway is the best way for you by the way if you don't know i did a video on resign before you retire and if you're someone who maybe wants to move to canada but you don't want to work for anybody you don't think you can manage that struggle well no worry check out that video and you will see some ways how you can get money to help you to fund starting a business or being an entrepreneur in canada which would lead you to street permanent residence all the best to you think about it before you make that move because i when i thought about it and i think about persons who i would have known and i'm like hmm, if i were a manager i would not want to make that start again but to each his own but that's what i think i think you need to think really consider it because when you come here the truth is you have to start over and it's not easy don't let nobody pretty up or glamorize struggle struggling is not easy but nothing is wrong with struggling but don't let nobody tell you oh yeah you go call me you probably just like go struggle a bit when you just come you know and i know um, if you're in a certain position it's hard like even the video i did with sam her youtube channel is chilling with sam even the video i did with her she said sometimes she looked at herself and she was like for somebody who's in a professional field for quite a number of years it was so depressing to the point that i was like okay like is there any accounting positions like entry level because most of the jobs that you'll be seeing is like walmart sobeys atlantic superstore subway and all of that and i can remember one night i was at work we were both closed and clean enough and i looked in the mirror and i laughed and i was like <laughs> i can't believe i gave up my job in jamaica and come here doing this kind of job and then you know what i reminded myself of wanting that sometimes in life you have to start over so think about it think about it before you make the big move and if you can maybe give it a test run first try thank you so much for watching please remember to like this video please like this video leave a comment or share the video get a friend bring a friend on with this new journey for 2023 bring a friend on and tell him or her to subscribe because we are going places this year in jesus name amen and i want to bring you along so all the best to you and i wish you nothing but success and joy keep working keep working bye